going to show you how to create this Instagram style text effect in just a few clicks. First, generate your text. If you don't know how, go to the text panel, click Create Captions from Transcript, and copy the settings you see on screen. Once it's generated, highlight all captions and change the font and size as you wish. Now, go to Graphics and Titles, then select Upgrade Caption to Graphic. Once it's upgraded, highlight the text graphics, right-click and choose Nest. This will group your text into a single layer. Now, with the nested clip selected, go to the Blend Mode option under Effect Controls and set it to Difference. Instantly, you'll see the stylish text effect that's popular on Instagram, and that's it! A sleek and trendy text effect in just a few steps. Let's do this dynamic text animation. Bring your clip onto the timeline. Now, grab the Type tool and click on the Program Monitor to add your text. Type the first word of your title and position it wherever you like. Move the playhead forward a bit, then grab the Razor tool by hitting C on your keyboard and split the text layer. Keep doing this until you've got about seven small text chunks. Now, let's make each chunk unique. Select the first chunk, go to the Properties panel, and choose a font you like. For the next chunk, pick a different font. Repeat this for every chunk to create a fun, ever-changing font style. When you get to the last text chunk, choose the final font that best suits your design. This will be your anchor font. If you're happy with the look, duplicate the entire text layer to add the second word of your title. Change the text and reposition it beneath the first word. Repeat the process of splitting, styling, and selecting fonts for this second word. Once every word of your title is completed, make sure all layers are aligned and styled cohesively. And that's it! You've got a clean, animated title with a dynamic font-changing effect. I will see you in the next video. I'm going to show you how to create this trendy shadow text effect in Premiere Pro. Start by typing out your text, break each word into its own text layer, and stack them in your timeline so that each word is on a separate video track. This setup is essential for the shadow effect to work seamlessly. Now, let's create the shadow mask. Select the second text layer in your timeline and navigate to the Rectangle Mask tool. Under the Effects Controls panel, position the mask so it covers only the section where this text overlaps with the one below it. Adjust it carefully for precise alignment. Once you've positioned the mask, increase the feather setting to create a smooth, blended look. This will soften the edges of the shadow, making the effect more polished. Now, select Invert Mask, and there you have it! Your shadow effect is starting to take shape. Repeat this process for all text layers, except the first one. Each new layer gets its own mask and inverted effect to maintain the illusion. Take your time with the adjustments to ensure everything looks perfect. Now that your effect is complete, feel free to experiment. Try changing the text color or adding subtle animations to make your project even more dynamic. And that's it! You've successfully created a shadow text effect in Premiere Pro. Let me know in the comments if there's another editing technique you'd like me to break down. I will see you in the next video. I'll show you how to create a super cool stretch pop-up effect for your text in Premiere Pro. First, select the Type tool and add your text. Adjust it to your liking in the Essential Graphics panel to make sure it looks just right. Next, open the Effects panel and search for Transform. Drag this effect onto your text layer. Now, move the playhead to the start of your text layer. In the Effect Controls panel, under Transform, uncheck Uniform Scale. Set the scale width to 1 and click the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Move forward 3 frames, 1, 2, 3, then set scale width to 125. This creates the stretch effect. Move another 3 frames forward, 1, 2, 3, and reset the scale to 100 to complete the pop-up animation. To make it look even more dynamic, uncheck Use Composition's Shutter Angle and increase the shutter angle to 360. This adds smooth motion blur to your text and makes the effect pop even more. And that's it! A sleek stretch pop-up effect you can save as a preset or apply to multiple text layers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial! I'll show you how to create this jittery text effect in Premiere Pro. First, grab the Type tool and create your text. Now, head over to the Effects panel and search for Turbulent Displace. Drag this effect onto your text layer. At first, it'll just look like a subtle wave, but here's how to bring it to life. Move your playhead to the very beginning of your timeline and go to the Effect Controls panel.
find evolution, click the stopwatch to set a keyframe, and leave it at zero. Move the playhead to the end of your clip and add another keyframe. Set the evolution to a value like 16 by 29. This makes the wave cycle 16 times during the clip. Now adjust the amount to 10 and size to 10. And that's it! You've got a cool animated text effect to spice up your videos. See you in the next one!